Hello everybody, my name is Antonina Brukova. Today is Saturday and I'll tell you the fairy tale about the golden fish. There once lived an old man and his good wife on the shore of the deep blue ocean. They lived in a tumble-down hole for 33 summers and winters. The old man used to fish for his living and his wife spun yarn on her distaff. He once cast his net into the ocean and pulled it up with mud from the bottom. He again cast his net into the ocean and this time caught nothing but seaweed. When he cast his net for the third time, one fish was all that he landed. No common fish, though, but a goldfish. Now the goldfish began to implore him, and it spoke like a real human being. Put me back, old man, into the ocean. I will pay you a right royal ransom. I will give you whatever you ask me. The old man was astonished and frightened. He had been fishing for 33 summers, but had not heard of any fish talking. So, with care, he untangled the golden fish and tenderly said as he did so. God bless you, my dear little goldfish. Thank you kindly. I don't want your ransom. Go back to your home in the ocean and roam where you will without hindrance. To his wife, the old fishman hastened to tell her about this great marvel. I caught only one fish this morning, a goldfish it was, most uncommon. It spoke like a Christian and begged me to put it back into the ocean and promised to pay a rich ransom to give me whatever I asked for. But how could I ask for a ransom? I released it without any payment. His wife started scolding her husband. Oh, you simpleton! Oh, you great silly! Couldn't make a mere fish pay a ransom. You at least may have asked for a wash tub, for our is all falling to pieces. The old man returned to the seashore where the blue waves were frockling lightly. He called out along for the goldfish and the goldfish swam up and demanded, What is it, old man, you are wanting? With a bow, the old man said in answer, Forgive me, your majesty goldfish. My old woman was scolding me roundly. Won't leave me alone for a minute. She said that she wants a new wash tub, for ours is all falling to pieces. The goldfish murmured in answer. Do not worry. Go home. God be with you. Very well. You shall have a new washed up. To his wife the old fisherman hastened and behold there it was, the new washed up. But she scolded him louder than ever. Oh, you simpleton! Oh, you great silly! To ask for a tub, a mere wash tub! What good can you get from a wash tub? Return to the goldfish, you silly, bow down low and ask for a cottage. Again he went back to the seashore, and this time the blue sea was troubled. He called out aloud for the goldfish, and the goldfish swam up and demanded, What is it, old man, you are wanting? With a bow the old man said in answer, Forgive me, your majesty goldfish. My old woman is angrier than ever. Won't leave me alone for a minute. The old scold said she wants a new cottage. The goldfish murmured in answer. Do not worry. Go home. God be with you. So be it. You'll have a new cottage. 
so back the old man turned his footsteps not a sign not a sign did he see of his home in its place to the new gabled cottage with a chimney of brick newly whitewashed a fence with oak gates stood around it and there sat his wife at a window when she saw him she scolded it him roughly oh you simpleton oh you great silly you ask for no more than a cottage go and bow to the goldfish and tell it that i'm tired of being a peasant that i want to be made a fine lady the old man then returned to the seashore where the ocean was restlessly flowing, he called out aloud for the goldfish. The goldfish swam up and demanded, What is it, old man, you are wanting? With a bow, the old man said in answer, Forgive me, your majesty goldfish. My old woman is madder than ever. She gives me no rest for a second. Says she's tired of being a peasant. She wants to be made a fine lady. The goldfish murmured in answer. Do not worry. Go home. God be with you. To his wife, the old fisherman hastened. And what did he see? A tall mansion. On its white marble stairs, his old woman. She was wearing a rich saddle jacket and had dress in gold all embroidered. Her neck was with pearls heavy leaded. She wore golden rings on her fingers. She was shod in the softest red leather. The last servant bowed meekly before her as she coughed them and raided them roundly. The old man then approached his wife, saying, Greeting, your ladyship greeting, fine lady. Now I hope that your soul is contented. She angrily bade him be silent and sent him to serve in the stables. First a week slowly passed, then another. The old woman grew prouder than ever. One morning she said for her husband and said, Bow to the goldfish and tell it. I am tired of being a lady and I want to be made a tsaritsa. Her husband implored her in terror, saying, Woman, you have surely gone crazy. You can't even talk like a lady. You'd be mocked at all over the kingdom. His old woman grew madder than ever, slapped his face, and then shouted in patience. How dare you, Mujik, stand and anger? Stand and argue with me, a fine lady. Go at once. If you don't, then I warn you. You'll be dragged to the shore, Willie Nilly. The old man went down to the seashore. The ocean was swollen and sullen. He called out aloud for the goldfish, and the goldfish swam up and demanded, What is it, old man, you're wanting? With a bow, the old man said in answer, Forgive me, your majesty goldfish. Again my old woman's gone crazy. Now she is tired of being a lady. She wants to be a tsaritsa. The goldfish murmured and answered. Do not worry. Go home. God be with you. Very well. She shall be a tsaritsa. To his wife, the old fish man hastened and what did he see? A grand palace. In the palace he saw his old woman. At the table, she said, a tsaritsa, 
attended by nobles and bayars, they were pouring choice wines in her goblet. She was nibbling sweet gingerbread wafers. Around her grim god stood in silent with halberds upon their broad shoulders. The old man was aghast when he saw this. He bowed to her feet and said humbly, Greetings, O oh mighty Tsaritsa. Now I hope that your soul is contented. But she gave not a glance at his husband. She ordered him thrust from her presence. The briars and nobles all hastened and drove him with blows from the chamber. The guards at the door waved their halberds and threatened to cut him to pieces. All the people derided him, saying, Serves you right now, you ill-bred old fellow. You jerk this will teach you a lesson to keep to your station in future. First a week slowly passed, then another. The old woman grew prouder than ever. She sent for her husband one morning, and her chamberian hailed him before her. The old woman spoke thus to her husband. Go, bow to the goldfish and tell it that I am tired of being Tsaritsa, of the seas I want to be mistress, with my home in the blue ocean waters, the goldfish I want for my servant, to do my commands and my errands. The old man does not conject her, nor open his lips to make answer. He sadly set out for the seashore. A tempest raged over the ocean. Its waters were swollen and angry. Its billows were boiling with fury. He called out aloud for the goldfish. The goldfish swam up and demanded, What is it, old man, you are wanting? With a bow, the old man said in answer, Forgive me, your majesty, goldfish. What shall I do with my cursed old woman? She is tired of being Tsaritsa, of the seas she wants now to be mistress, with her home in the blue ocean waters. She wants you to be her own servant, to do her commands and her errands. Not a word spoke the goldfish in answer. It just swished its tail and in silence disappeared in the depths of the ocean. He waited in vain for an answer and at last turned his steps to the palace and behold there again stood his hall. On the doorstep sat his old woman with the same broken wash tap before her. This is the end. If you like my fairy tale, please put some up. Goodbye. See you next Saturday.